Hello, I'm Tiam Singh. Welcome to another E3D How To. Today, we are going to discuss about how to create panels. Let's start by selecting the structures application. Let's select the plates. We can set up the storage area and we can set up the plates that we want to use. If it's unset, it is just a normal plate with a thickness. Let's use standard plates and we choose the 10 mm thickness. Drawing edge defaults were handle how the panels will look in draft. This drawing edge defaults will define whether seams are shown in draft or not. Next, we need to define some snaps option. For this case, we want to choose P lines that we'll be snapping to. Having limited P lines will allow the system to operate better and less confusion in the graphics. So for this case, we are choosing the left and right bottom and left and right top. At the same time, we are not interested in node or items, but rather we are interested in the intersection between P lines and P line endpoints. So with all that set up, let's create a panel on multiple points. So it's just a matter of choosing all the points that we want to create the panel. Sometimes we snap the wrong endpoint and we can use the back command to actually go back to redefine the point. Use the down arrow key and select V. This last intersection is a bit difficult but there we got it. And we finish up with an enter. So, our top plate is now fully created. Next, we are going to create the bottom plate and this time I will start with a rectangle plate and then we will modify the plate to suit the profiles below. We double click on the plates to actually reveal the grips. The grips allow us to modify the plates. We can move the vertices as well as add vertices. So let's complete this bottom platform by using these grips.
So that's it for our short tutorial on creating panel in E3D. See you again. Bye.